Yeah. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. I would like to welcome you guys to a very, very informative NBA 2K23 video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a topic that literally hits home now. Yes, it finally hits home. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, in the last few days, your boy got a little sour about Rec Center in NBA 2K23. And I took to social media before I get into what I want to talk about. I'm just going to go ahead and play the video. Yo, no lie. NBA 2K is cooked, bro. It's cooked. Literally me and me and one of my homies is trying to give this whole random wreck thing a try. And bro, if somebody don't get the ball in two possessions, when the game starts, they stand out of bounds to force turnovers for your team. This game is cooked. Like, why, why get on a game and sit there for 20 minutes and get 13 turn, turnovers by standing out of bounds and on, and on offense at that? So we give up a defensive play because you don't want to play defense, and then you stand out of bounds. A 30-point swing in seven possessions. What? Now that you guys have seen the video, I want y'all to understand um, a little something about me. Um, since NBA 2K15, I have always reached out to my community, IKC Nation, to play video games with. Um, and over the years, you know, people have, you know, stayed, some have come, some have gone. Some people have went to other communities to game. And it's been an amazing, amazing time with you all. You, All of you know who you are. You are a part of my Discord, link in the description, by the way. But all of you are there, and you know what it's like trying to find people for games. Now, the reason why this experiment of mine went so wrong is because of New York Minute. Yes, I'm going to blame you, and trust me, if you're in my community, you know who New York Minute is. But I blame you, bro, because you did this to me. Um, but yes, I will say in a weak state, I ran a social media. Yes, I did. But it had to be said. Um, now, there are two problems here. Um, we have a problem with the 2K community and we have a problem with 2K. We're going to talk about all of that in today's video. Are you ready? King Kong. King Kong. So let me start off this by saying to every random out there in the world, I apologize. Yes, I apologize. I'm going to tell you everything about the story. I'm not going to leave nothing out. I'm going to tell you my version of it. Okay. Because remember, there's always someone's uh, version, another person's version, and then the truth. And I always give you guys the truth. So let me tell you what happened a few days ago. I decided to play NBA 2K23 with my homie New York Minute. And in this decision, I decided not to bug anyone from IKC Nation via Discord or social media. I decided to fly under the radar, not go live, but just to play the game. So our first game, me and my homie New York Minute, I'm on a big, he's on a point guard. I know what y'all thinking. Oh, y'all gonna go play some buddy ball. Oh, I pie, you dead ass wrong. I know, I know you are. You ain't shit. Listen, first game. Two minutes into the game, New York Minute is arguing with one of our teammates on the PlayStation mics. Y'all know how terrible those mics are, right? Terrible. So I proceed to mute the person he's arguing with. And to the point where New York started being so toxic that I didn't want to hear his voice either. I muted him. So at this point, I am a complete random just playing the game. There is no buddy ball. There's no call outs. There's nothing in my ear. Just straight up playing a video game. Just trying to survive. Game goes well. We lose, obviously. So after that loss... 
I go into the Discord, uh, and I'm hearing New York men say, "Oh man, I'm tired of these randoms, man. They trash. They how can you be so dumb?" Ah, uh, uh, I said, "Okay, he's still on this toxic shit. I'm not gonna listen to that." So we go into a second game. New York is completely muted at this point. New York puts up a shot in the first possession, makes it. He comes down the court, gets one of my screens, and takes another shot and misses it. Someone proceeds to come into the mic. Yes, this is a brand new team, by the way. Brand new team for the first game. Dude proceeds to come into the mic and say, if y'all ain't going to pass that ball, I got something for y'all. I promise you that he said that shit. <laughs> Mind you, this dude sounds like somebody's old head that just got off work that's just trying to load the game up. He sounds older than me. Yes. So we come down this possession. Obviously, I'm setting screens for New York, but on this possession, I noticed the center was playing high. So I proceed to cut. Now, while I'm proceeding to cut, the person who told us if we don't pass that ball, he got some force, proceeds to cut as well. Who do you think got that ball? Yeah, it wasn't him. So I score. Right. Come back down on the next defensive possession. It is four on five. Four on five. Right. So now it's four on five. I'm like, oh, uh, shit. I'm just going to play two. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get back to the paint somehow. I, we get the rebound. Obviously, the other team we're playing had to be a five stack. So they're on all of the R1L ones, three possessions in. So I hit R1X. Point guard, safe pass, right? I pass it to New York. Turnover happens. I said, no one tipped it. No one called timeout. I look down in the right corner and it says offensive player out of bounds. I was like, oh, somebody must, you know, be taking a trash out or Somebody mom must have called him. So, so, something crazy happened. We come down on defense. It's four on five again. But this time, the other team notices. <laughs> so obviously they score three, right? I'm taking the ball out. I press X. I pass it to my point guard. Before my point guard could pass half court. Right corner again. <sighs> Offensive player out of bounds. I said, ain't no fucking way that this is about to happen. So about five or six possessions go by. And at this point, I am pissed. I'm like, yo, I muted everybody. I'm just trying to have a good gaming experience. And this dude is ticking me off. So I get on the mic. I said, I say, yo, why you keep standing out of bounds, bro? I said, we trying to get this offense rolling. He said, man, I ain't worried about none of that. That's dead. I said, oh, oh, by the way, as he said that, offensive player out of bounds. Are you seeing where my story is actually going? It's going to a place where it took me, iPod, the, 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 the stern OG that, don't care about saying nothing bad about the game because I type it every single day. I, I, I literally message people all the time about the game. I went to social media. It took me to social media because after this person got kicked out because it took them almost a quarter and a half to get kicked out of the game. I talked to one of the other teammates and he started breaking it down to me like, yeah, well, you know, if the point guard would pass more, like right now, see, look, I'm opening the corner. Mind you, dude is, his his defender is dropped down in, all, in defense, looking directly at New York in the passing lane of New York. So if New York was to pass it to that corner that Odu said he was opening, still, right? So I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, man, man, I, I feel you. He said, okay, well, he said, why did it take so long 
for y'all to start passing me the ball. Well, well, never mind, Big. You've been passing me the ball, but why take the point guard so long to pass me the ball? I said, man, I don't know, man. I'm not talking to this dude. Mind you, I still have New York muted. The entire time New York was muted. So after I have the conversation with the, the other teammate, the one who didn't leave, who actually played with us. By the way, we lost that game. Um, I unmute New York. And he was like, man, Carter, save me, bro. Get me out of here, man. These randoms are so trash. I caved. I went to my Discord. I got three other people in. We won five games straight. But the moral of this story <laughs> is that you toxic motherfuckers in the 2K community ain't shit. I'm just going to go ahead and put that shit out there. Y'all ain't shit dude the the, the shit that y'all do toxicity what is beyond me listen just like i said in the video somebody has time today no matter what where you at what you playing they got time today dude literally wasted 20 minutes of his time to make sure we lost he made sure of it. This dude had 13 turnovers and had a C minus. I don't even know how you can possibly do that. But he did it. And that's where the bigger conversation comes in at. So let's go ahead and transition over to Twitter so we can see what the community is talking about under this little viral clip that I put out. Now, to be clear, I meant every word of what i said the 2k community is cooked it's no bringing the community to a positive state at all we have wagers we have toxicity we have stage we have pro-am we have money leagues we the only thing in 2k that's standing tall is competitiveness that's it Nobody wants to lose except for people that don't get enough touches. Mm. And, I, and, and listen, I got to prove a point on this. Brutal Sim put out a video today about this subject within my video. And he's right. People will throw the game because they don't get enough touches. And it, to me, it doesn't make sense. So I'm going to give you a little bit of game on the way that the rep system before we look at these tweets the way that the rep system works if you have 30 points and you lost you get a fraction of rep of what five points three assists three rebounds and a b minus would get you with the win you get a fraction of that you could ball out for 30, 40, 50. You lose, you get a fraction of what you would have got if you would have won. Now, the rep system is tied all into grade. So if you're chucking up shots, standing out of bounds, leaving your man, doing whatever, and you win the game with a C minus, of course you're not going to get as much rep as you would get if you had a B plus, an A, an A plus. But when you lose, ain't no coming back from that. Ain't nobody getting more rep in the loss bracket than anybody who wins. So to be completely honest, if you can sit up there and be toxic for 20 minutes because you're not getting enough touches, motherfucker, you could sit in a corner, play defense, get the ball on fast breaks, steal the ball, catch an alley-oop or two, and get way more rep for winning. I promise you five points is better than 30 in a loss. I promise you five points with the dub is way, way better. I'm trying to change the narrative. I'm trying to change the lens on things because the way that y'all playing out here in these streets with this goddamn game is beyond me. Now, 2K, we going to get on your ass. But first, I want to go over some tweets because we got some constructive criticism. You know what I'm saying? That we need to go ahead and highlight. But I'm on your ass too. Now, check this out. This is the tweet, right? This is the tweet. This is the tweet. It got over 500 quote tweets. We're going to look at some of those. But the first thing that I wanted to talk about 
was Brother Jones said we need a kick feature to kick out wreck trolls. Now, vote to kick, but the vote gotta be all four teammates. Gotta throw some AI defense in there to compensate. Now, peep this, right? He had a bunch of replies here, right? Because what people don't understand is when you put a feature like that inside of a game that is already toxic, trust me, four people that come in in the four stack and realize that the dude is selling so much, they will probably vote to kick him just to get him out of here. If it is a majority rule, I believe that the kick feature should be much more complex than just that, right? Now, the next thing, Boomy. Boomy said, definitely agree. A griefing slash reporting system is essential. Gotta work both ways though. Not just reporting grief, but penalizing people mass reporting for no reason. I'm going to be honest with you. That's too far advanced. Simply because if you do that and you put that type of stuff in the game, right? Say, for instance, somebody uses the, the N-word, right? Somebody calls somebody the N-word, right? When they are griefing or reporting or whatever the case may be, guess whose player is sitting still? Mm. See, you see, now when you play devil's advocate, this person is trying to report somebody who just called them out their name, a, a, a very derogatory term, right? Downright racist, right? When that player is standing still, what happens when one of those teammates say, yo, 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 dude standing still, man. He, he drawing, he not even here. Kicking, booting, booting, booting. All you trying to do is just report the person who just called you out your name. And now the whole team is now on the other person's side to boot you because you're standing still for a possession or two while you put your report in. <sighs> Man, it hurts. It truly hurts. Now, on to Double H. Double H said, I've experienced it too. They need to add a griefing system where the game detects when a player is deliberately throwing the game, like standing out of bounds and getting multiple violations Back to back. Now, PD Mike said they have this for Madden. Um, Aladdin said NHL 23 got this down. Now, peep this, right? And also, Brian said facts overwatch these mother effers ban them for 24 hours if they pull this shit. I'm in agreement with almost everybody, right? In agreement with almost everybody. But there's a point that you have to make about these type of systems. These type of systems, guess what you are doing? You are giving the toxic people that you are trying to police more power. If they are using a feature that you put inside the video game called offensive player standing out of bounds turnover and using that to troll or throw games, what do you think they're going to do with a griefing system? What do you think they're going to do with a kicking feature? Because I can tell you right now, people can make cases for a lot of things and it only takes one person to say the wrong thing to rub everybody the wrong way. For instance, if a small forward is in a game and he'd be like, yo man, man, point guard, you trash. But the point guard has a shooting guard and a power forward in his pocket. And the center might be a little cool because maybe he played two games with that point guard and the point guard was doing well. Guess who got all the power to get you booted, small forward? Just because you call somebody trash. <laughs> the 2K community, boy, y'all got y'all got a lot of power out there, man. And y'all, y'all just ain't doing the right things with it, man. I'm just I'm just pointing that out, man. Now I'm gonna talk about the solution in a second. But I wanted to show you guys the level of passive aggressive toxicity and just downright deliberately just just wrong. This dude responded to me and said, start passing the ball. This dude said, I saw the game earlier because the motherfuckers playing buddy ball. Third quarter, I'm two for two for the game. Clamp on my man and getting locked off, looked off on offense. Got 13 turnovers in one quarter. 
Somebody decided to respond and say, or just quit clown. Oh man, you, you just gave him all the time he needed today. Mind you, this argument has been going on for three days. This thread right here alone, this thread is a three day argument. How much more toxic can that be? Look at this, bro. SMD. He said, you got too much time on your hands. He said, pass or lose. Bro, the hashtag pass or lose is crazy. To say pass or lose, you have no other choice besides to pass me the ball or you're going to lose. Oh, my God. Then he said he'll be in real life. He said, the F I'm equipped for so I can get banned goofy. He called him a goofy. Like, bro, look, at it's crazy. It is crazy that their last tweet was an hour ago. An hour ago, man. <laughs> that is toxicity at its best. Now, let's talk about a real clear-cut solution for 2K. Now, there is a feature within the game if a player sits still for too long that he is kicked from the game. I believe it lasts maybe three possessions, so maybe about three 24-second shot clocks. I believe that that person gets kicked if they don't move their controller over the last couple of years, if somebody got to go run downstairs or whatever the case may be, we used to grab our controllers and put them face down on the table and have our analog sticks facing upward. So your player can run real slow with his hand up in the air so that he wouldn't, you know, go out of bounds or whatever the case may be. He kind of would like still stay in a play. Now, if that play went on too long, then of course he would get an offensive three seconds. If it was like, you know, straight down the court. But now we are dealing with players that deliberately stand out of bounds on offense and then don't play defense and their grade does not suffer. I do not want a kick boot feature. I don't want a grieving system. I want people to get kicked out from teammate grade. For instance, the offensive player standing out of bounds feature I don't know why you guys added it. Um, I looked up a lot of NBA rules and stuff like that. And I know that, you know, due to last season with, you know, offensive players, you know, standing out of bounds over on benches, coming in, swiping behind players and stuff like that. I understand that. But that's a, that was a defensive thing. But like literally a player would stand out of bounds after scoring and he would sit out of bounds and like kind of lurk behind people on the inbound and then steal the ball from people that's defense but i don't know why they put this offensive player thing inside of 2k it makes no sense maybe someone suggested it because of the whole hey if i i gotta go run do something real quick and you able to stay in the game by you know having your player just have his hand up run real slow and go stand out of bounds and stuff like that i understand that but if people are going to do that they should have a minimum amount of times that they do that to where as though their grade suffers dramatically. For instance, we know how much a turnover costs, right? A turnover, it is a, it is a huge deal for your grade. It can make or break your grade a lot. But I feel like an offensive player, out of bounds violation plus turnover, you should only be able to do that maybe three I don't even want to say four times. You do that three times, you're out of here. It should be that dramatic because if we put in technical fouls or flagrant fouls or whatever the case may be, right? And that type of stuff can boot a player. I feel like offensive out of, offensive out of bounds plays on a person should be able to get them kicked. If they do it an excessive amount of times, the game should notice like, okay, this is more of a, a violation that would be an ejection. Give, give us that, give us that. Make sure it ejects this person. It gives us their AI. It gives the AI enough to, you know, last and play defense and, 
do the best they can besides getting dotted in the corner or step back three over the entire rec game. But that's what it should be. It shouldn't be a grievance system. It shouldn't be a kick or boot button because history has shown giving 2K the community enough power. This is the result of that power. You may not think 2K that it's power, but you are giving a certain type of person, a person that got time today to do things like that, to literally destroy every speck of enjoyment that other people have playing this video game. That simple. I don't even think that I have anything else that I need to say in this video besides either add the three offensive player out of bounds violations resulting in an instant ejection kick player or tweak the defense for better. Now, this will be the last thing I say in this video because I know that this is a very, very stressful thing. 2K tried to help us the rec community a few years ago by taking out the penalty of teammate greed when we run our own sets of two, three, three, two, you know what I'm saying? One in the box, whatever, whatever zone you want to run on 2k, they took away the penalty of teammate greed for leaving your player. They took that out the game. So with that, with them taking that out the game, we now have players not playing defense, because they don't get penalized for not playing defense. And then we have these same players standing out of bounds, giving up the ball on a turnover and not getting penalized enough on their grade so that they get kicked out the game. That's what needs to change. You need to bring in set plays for the rec. I don't care. Don't, don't say it's not pro M it's not copy. Uh, the casual player is now becoming competitive players. Everybody wants to win. Everybody wants an edge and there are some random players out there who just don't give a damn, but for the most part, everybody else wants an edge. So we need to be able to have our point guard or whomever run plays so that we don't get penalized on that defensive tip. But if we do see somebody, you know, doing some bull crap troll stuff, we can easily go back to man to man. If this person is not playing defense, they get hit. And then when they do that, you know, offensive player out of bounds, their grade suffers dramatically to the point where, oh, this player just didn't want to play today. Let's kick them. Not for being AFK, but for being an ass. That's how it should be. Now, I know I've held you guys up pretty long in this video. And I want to thank y'all for hearing my side of things. But uh, 2K. Get it together. 2K community, be better. Boy, 13 turnovers and ain't get kicked from the game. I can't make this stuff up. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba. King Kong. King Kong.